Because I believe God seriously Amen. for this month. Amen. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 4. Amen. Amen. Are we there? Praise the Lord. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 4 from verse 9. The Bible says, Now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in pain. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me, and that you will keep me from evil, so that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jabez, the Bible says, was called Jabez because he was born in sorrow. And the mother looked at him and said, because I have you in pain, I have you in sorrow, your name also will be sorrow. Hallelujah. He didn't pity this young man. He didn't say, let me, let me laugh, at, since I am sorrowful. Let, at least I, I have born him. Let me just patch it up and give him laughter. At least let me be happy that he came. No! The Bible says she looked and looked and said, eh -eh. I bore you in pain. Your name also will be called pain. So when they say pain, you will say, I am here. Yeah. Yeah. When they say sorrow, I am here. Trouble, I am here. Failure, I am here. Hallelujah. Sorrow, bring me water. Here you go. Sorrow, bring me food. Here you go. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorrow. You can imagine what his life look like. For him to cry out, that means every time they call him sorrow, he also calls sorrow. Because that was one of his prayers. He says that I may not cause sorrow. That means when they call him sorrow, something sorrow actually happened. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When they call him sorrow, sorrow bring water, something different happened. When they call him sorrow, sorrow bring me food, something also different happened. And so he was causing sorrow everywhere and he became so fed up with his own life. And the Bible says he cried out. That means he has gotten to the point where he said, ah, enough is enough. This one is too much. He cried out to the God of Israel. He said, ah, that you will bless me. Hallelujah. What is, what is he looking for? Transformation. He said, God, I don't like this life. I don't want this life. I have considered my life and mm -mm, it's not good enough. You see, the Bible says of those two women, the one that have the children in the book of King, the Bible says that when one was sleeping, so the wife, the, the, the son of one died, and then he placed the dead child and exchanged it with the living. They were all in the same room. The Bible says when the woman with the living child, after he wake up, he saw that the child is dead. He looked, he said, ah, my child is dead. The Bible says, after she has considered it carefully, that means when he wake up, wake up, he didn't wake up. So he carried the child. Oh, he's dead. My son is dead. Oh, no. He look. <laughs> when he look, he said, ah, this one doesn't look like it. This one is not my son. If that woman, Kolamoshinda, Gredeboshka, when she wake up, and saw the child dead, and he just acted, like, oh no, God of Israel, my child is dying, oh father. Do you know that she will not have the sight to examine? Hallelujah. Do you understand? She consider it. 
you to, I am sure you have considered this life is not good. Yes. Is this one you are living good? Yes. Are you satisfied with this one? Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says, Jabez consider himself. That is when you know, say, ah, this life is not good. Mm -mm. This one that I am living is not my original life. I don't like this one. I know that <laughs> the same God who sent me here, he can do something about this one. This one, mm -mm, I don't like it. I don't know how many of you that uh, today, this morning, you don't like it. Have you considered? And if you have not considered, I want you to take a very good look at yourself. Hallelujah. Take a very good look at what is happening around you. And tell me if it is good or you can still manage it. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the woman considered, it was when she considered that she now said, it is not my child. I refuse. Yes. Eh? If she has not considered it, she would not have refused it. Yes. The Bible said it was when she considered it and she said, hey, this boy is not my son. I refuse to take a dead child. You see, that is what it is. When you consider your life and you know what is happening, you will say, I refuse to live like this. I refuse to die like this. I don't know about you, but I have made up my, my mind. I will not die like this. I am okay. I will not continue like this because I have considered myself. Hallelujah. I am better than this. I am greater than this. Praise the Lord. She consider. Jabez consider. That is the reason why she say, he said, Oh God of Israel, I have considered my life very well. This is not the kind of life I want. This is not the kind of life I would like. This is not the kind of life I desire. This is not the kind of life I want to continue to live. Oh, that thou will bless me. Bless me. Bless me. I want to be blessed. I want you to enlarge my territory. I am, I am tired of living in this Kukubai thing. Hallelujah. Enlarge my territory. Let me not cause pain anymore. Let your hand be upon me. And the Bible said the Lord granted him. And that is the reason why we can read that first part. Jabez become more honorable. The reason why he become more honorable than all of his brothers and sisters was because he cried out to God and said, I don't want to be sorrow anymore. I am tired of being sorrowful. I am tired of causing sorrow. I want to be blessed. And that is the reason why we read that chapter that says he become more honorable. Why? Because God granted his request. Today, God, we grant your request. People are sounding, your enemy is too somehow for me this morning. I said the Lord shall grant your request. Oh, 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 the Holy Ghost shall grant your request. The King of Glory shall grant your request. The Lord of hosts shall grant your request. The ancient of death shall grant your request. Your request shall be granted in the name of Jesus. Right where you are, I want everybody to rise on your feet. And you are going to call on the Lord God of Elijah. The same God that Jabez cried to. And God granted his request. You will cry to the Lord tonight. Oh God, I need change by fire. I don't know if you need change by fire. But I need change by fire. Hallelujah. I cannot, I cannot longer. I have considered it very well. I am not supposed to be at this level. This ministry is not supposed to be at this level. I have considered it very well. It is time for change by fire. My change cannot be walking and dragging like a tortoise. Amen. Slow it down. Just be managing. No, 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 no. I don't want to manage anymore. I don't want to drag anymore. I want the change by fire. I open your mouth and tell the Lord God. Oh God of Elijah, I need change by fire. God of Elijah, I need transformation by fire. I don't know about you, but I need my change now. Not tomorrow, I need my change now. Oh God, change my life now. Oh God, I need transformation. Are you praying or playing? God, I need my change by fire. Oh, if you need your own, my daughter's cross, say it. 